Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video we're going to be playing with the Jeffree Star Morphe collab palette and brushes. I got the brushes and the palette. I also got the mist but for Australians it wasn't available till the other day so that's coming later on but it's a setting spray. I'm sure I'm going to like the smell. I'll keep you updated when it arrives. Let's get bloody started. So, here is the packaging itself, the boil, the boil, the beautiful Morphe Jeffree Star outer packaging, and then the inside, oh my god, you guys, definitely a lot better in person, this is what it looks like, on camera it doesn't show up, this is like neon green. And like this green, these greens are going on my eye. Uh, wand noise is going on my eye. Actually, let me just tell you my favorite shades like right now, just like off the bat that I know that I love. So yeah, Nate is definitely my favorite shade in the palette. I love Wake and Bake. Millions is stunning. Drive through is really nice in purpose. It's like a in person. It's like a greeny, really, really dark greeny gold. Love that. Dog Mum is like a peachy. Shimmer that oh yes um two looks really really pretty it's like a shimmery champagne color then one noise and custom rims are my favorites so far I haven't used the rest you know I don't like my pinks but we will be using pinks don't worry I'll use them eventually <laughs> but yeah that is <coughs> me dying but yeah that is the palette and then I also got the brush set so this is the little container container pencil case that it comes in. If I was still in school, I'd literally use this as my pencil case and probably get bullied because it's pink. <laughs> um, and then also the brushes. So we have eight brushes here. We have like a kind of flat tapered brush. We have an eyebrow brush or eyeliner. I like to use them for eyeliner. We have a small little blending brush, a big fluffy blending brush. This is kind of like a highlighting brush, I would say. Then like a medium blending brush. And then, uh, yeah, basically like a small like pack on, like probably in the crease would be really good. A nice big blending brush, another big blending brush, a really nice precise brush, and then like a packing on brush. I thought this one was going to be a lot flatter, so you could like cut the crease with it, but it's like quite thick if you look at it like right there. But yeah, that is the brushes and I'm going to use them in today's video. Let's see what they're like. From experience, obviously he's the white ones, all the three white ones are repeat, so I know how they perform and I know that the white ones are really hard to work with, but let's get bloody started, like actual put some colour in my eye. <laughs> okay, and another thing I didn't mention is it's got a massive mirror in it, hi, and it has the shade names down there, finally Morphe has done shade names on the actual palette. Okay. Let's go in with Nate. So I'm going to go in with Nate first. And what is this colour right here? My most excited colour. I really hope it doesn't let me down. Let's do it. Right, so I'm just going to pack this on the lid. Oh my god, that is a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. Wow, okay. I'm in it. Oh my god. This is probably the most favourite green shadow I've ever used. It's really pigmented, what the heck? <gasps> oh, that's amazing. I think I might go in with like a more like crease brush and like really pack it in my crease because I want this to be quite high because we will be cutting the crease a little bit later on. Right, next I'm going to go in to Wake and Bake with this fluffy brush. Uh, do they have names? Oh, the JSA, um, and I just used the JS6 to pack on the green initially, and then I just used the JS12 to get more in the crease. So this is Wake and Bake, and I'm just going to use this to blend out Nate. This is quite pigmented too. It's really doing a good job of blending out Nate. I knew it would, like, he would have put these two shades to work together with each other. But wow, yes, Jeffrey, great. Right, so far the brushes are amazing, and I'm just grabbing Nate again and just popping that at the end of my eyeball. Okay, so that is what we're looking like. I'm just going to quickly pop off camera, cut the crease, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, and then next I'm gonna go in with the JS11, which is this kind of big intimidating brush, but we'll see how we go. If not, I'll go in with my normal concealer brush. And I'm gonna go in with Wand Noise, which I'm really excited about. And pop that in the crease. Oh, that's like, yeah, no, that's just like way too big. Not really sure like what, I'm pretty sure like it's for doing what I'm doing but not in a crease, not in a cut crease. Anyway, I'm going to go in with my concealer brush anyway. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me while I just die. While I'm doing this, I'm just packing one noise in the crease. Um, so yeah, this palette was supposed to come... When was it supposed to come? Like Monday, and it's now Thursday. I ordered it a week ago, and it's only decided to show up Thursday, which is today. So I've literally spent my whole week waiting for this palette, to be honest. And now that it's here, I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's really good, but. What the hell took us post so long? I know it's not Morphe's fault. Morphe is so quick. I usually get their orders so quick. It's us post's fault. And I blame them. This colour is really pretty. Why hasn't everyone used this colour? Everyone's been using the greens and pinks. I really wanted to try a colour that people haven't been using. It's like, I don't know. It's kind of like a duochrome red gold. I'm here for it. Right, I'm just gonna grab it on my finger, see how it looks. Like that. Oh yeah, there we go. This is a really pretty colour. Oh my god, this is very unique. Like why is more, more people talking about this? It's like a red duochrome goldy colour. Oh my god. Really, really nice. Okay, so that is that red shade packed on, which is called One Noise Again. I'm just going to grab Nate and pack him right on the edge here. Yeah, and just just at that edge there. I just want to deepen it up the slightest bit So I'm gonna go in with Calabasas And I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. So this is the JS 13 And pop Calabasas just right at the end of that red. Oh Jesus, that's pigmented. Hello You guys I'm really impressed like wow. Morphe shadows aren't usually this good. Like, in all seriousness, they're not. But, like, they've really upped their game, and I'm, like, here for it. I'm just going to quickly do the under eye off camera. Um, I'm going to, obviously, use Nate and Wake and Bake, and I'll be right back. Right, so that is the under eye done. I'm just going to grab the gel liner. I really love these, and I really want some more colours. I really want my orange one and the yellow one. Um, the ColourPop Gel Liner in Electric Daisy, and just pop it in my waterline. Like, they're so buttery and smooth, and like, look how, like, bright that makes my eye. Like, I love it. Right, so next I just want to add a little bit more to the eye. I'm going to, uh, more and more. I'm going to grab Strawberry Crush first, and I'm going to water, I'm going to water. I'm going to line my crease with that shade, and I'm going to use the detailed brush, which is called the JS14. So let's do that. Oh my god, that's literally like perfect for this. I don't have to use a stupid uh. pen. Oh, it's okay, my phone just vibrated and fell off my stand. Oh, look how precise that is too. I'm not getting a big thick line like I do with my paintbrush. Oh my god, that just made that so easy. Look at that line. 
I've never been so precise. Love this. Absolutely love this. The JS14. Yes, please. Very excited to do more detailing with that. Ah, right then I'm going to go in with no offense and just at the end I'm going to do a wing. I'm not going to do a whole wing. Do I want to do a whole wing? Maybe I want to do a whole wing. I'm going to do a wing off camera because I really want to concentrate with this one. So I'm just going to quickly do a wing off camera and I'll be all right back. Okay, we are back with a wing on. Um, that took a while. I really find um, no offense hard to work with. Sorry, I just put my mirror down. Um, I'm going to go in with my inner corner shade next. And I'm going to use the shade Custom Rims. I'm just going to use my own brush. This is just the Morphe JH39 anyway, so I'm still staying on brand. And I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. Ooh. Looks really pretty. It's kind of going everywhere though, but it's still really pretty. Ooh. Anyway, that is the inner corner shade. Now I'm going to quickly pop off camera, do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and the other eye is done. Um, I'm actually hoping. <clears throat> I'm very sick, that's what I am. I'm actually very happy with how both eyes turned out. Like, that's a first. Like, usually I like an eye better than the other one, but now I'm like, you're both looking cute. So, like, I love that. Um, next, I'm going to go in with the Northern Lights palette. And I'm going to go in with Alaskan Ice. And I'm just going to use that as my eyebrow highlight. And I thought I would give little JS 10 a go and see how she performs. I thought she could get nice and snug up there. Yes, she can. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I love this shade so much. Right, and then just because I can, I'm going to use, and just because I want to try use as much as I can, I'm going to use the JS5. It looks like this. It looks like a really nice highlighting brush. I'm going to be a bit careful, though, because my last one I went, like, really ham with, and it got damaged really badly. So I'm going to go in with the shade Thawed Out, which is this one right here. And pop that on the cheeks. Oh yes, bitch. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to pop on Strawberry Crush off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and this is the finished look. Oh my god, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I can't believe people aren't using one noise. That's such a cool shade. Let's talk about the shades I used today, and then, yeah, I will be using this palette in my next videos, don't worry. So, let's talk about Nate. That is absolutely stunning. Um, probably the most, my most favourite green shade I've ever used. Wake and Bay is amazing to blend it out. It's also just amazing in general. Like, I really like mustardy greens. They're, like, just so unique. And, like... Green shades aren't being done at the moment, so yeah, I'm really happy with these two. Wanda Noise is stunning, like, on my crease. I love it so much. I really can't wait to use more shades. And Custom Rims, beautiful silver shimmer. Um, It's kind of, like, glittery, like, it disperses weird. Sorry. These, like, jackets, they, like, pull at your neck hairs if you're a man. Um, And it really hurts, so I'm just going to zip it down for a second. Oh my god, I just took a chunk out of May. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is the shades I've used so far. Next, I really want to dive into the pinks and purples. I really want to use the shade 2. Um, Welcome looks really nice as well. Don't Know Her looks really good. Even Girl and Drive Through. Like, there's so many shades that I want to use still. So, yeah, definitely going to be using this palette again. Definitely highly recommend it if you love Jeffree Star and Morphe. So I'm wrong, there was 10 brushes, not 8 brushes, I'm pretty sure I said there was 8 at the start of this video. I didn't use these for, I will use these for liner or eyebrows, but as you can see it's a little bit, there's like some hairs coming off. Um, this just, I don't know, I really wish that this was thinner for starters, I did try to use this but it didn't work, and I'm just like not a fan of these white ones, I just don't 
find them fun to work with and this I just wish it was a little bit longer for some reason I don't know but yeah the brushes I did use I really loved so I used this for my highlighter I know that this is good because it's in the old collection I use this um, to pack on colors really good at packing on color and getting like right in this nug right here for color as well so the JS 13 really really recommend that could not recommend this enough. I think this might be my favorite from the actual whole set because I've been looking for a brush like this for ages, the JS14. I think I might get another one of these if they are still available. That is, yeah, love that. Um, they're all stained green from Nate, which I'm not mad about because I love the color Nate. Uh, the JS12, this one is really good for packing on color as well and blending right there in the crease. Really nice brush. And then we have the JS6. This is in the original as well. This is really good for packing on color and once again blending in the crease because it's like tapered and it goes like in. It's really good for getting in that nug right there. And then lastly, this Blending Beauty JS8. Really good at blending out uh, Wake and Bake with Nate. Um, I really highly recommend them. Uh, the other ones I'm not like mad about but like I'm really happy I got the whole set. I'm really happy that they actually work because I find, found that the other one didn't really like work well and I really didn't continue using them at all. But yeah guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I would literally love if you give it a massive thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite shade? Did you enjoy today's look? Do you want to recreate today's look? If you do, then don't forget to tag me at Lewis 2.0. Um, and if you would like to join the Lou crew, I would literally love if you would subscribe. I suggest checking out a few videos before you make that decision. If you enjoyed this video and you're like, yes, he's my kind of guy, then subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you'll be up notified. <clears throat> Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. I try to aim three times a week, but at this point it's been two times a week. Um, next few weeks are going to be really busy as well because the show's on and I'm working at the show so yeah I'm going to try upload as much as I can but that is it for today's video guys I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one it'll probably be with the same palette because <laughs> girl we need to try out them pinks bye guys